first inductee tonight uh, is Mr. Marion Balzerzak. Mr. Balzerzak in his playing days here was called the Sherman Tank of the offense and defensive line. He was an All-Maryland selection at center, and he played on uh, Ed Hardin's powerhouse teams early in the 50s, who won 20 games and lost four over a three-game span. All right, for Mr. Balzerzak tonight, his son Jeff is here to accept his award. Jeff? Right, there you go. Jeff Balzerzak. On behalf of my father, Larry Balserzak, I'd like to thank the Hall of Fame Committee for selecting my father for this tremendous honor. <clears throat> it's a wonderful tribute to what my father was able to achieve during his high school years here at Loyola Blakeville. Yeah. I'd like to take a moment to thank all the people who wrote letters of recommendation for my father. Yeah. Andy Wagner, Joseph Trinity Sr., Francis Colas, David Greenwood, Summer Trofertia, John Hartnett, Douglas Foreman, Robert Zemecki, Ted Marchagrova, his quarterback at the University of Detroit, and all those who helped support him. We are grateful for their support. I'd also like to thank my uncle, Ed Balserzak, who's been our family standard bearer and carried the torch across the finish line for my father. Thank you, Uncle Ed. During the 1950 varsity football season, when my father was a senior co captain of Loyal Ch Loyal's championship team, my uncle Ed was a sophomore varsity player. I can only imagine how proud my grandparents, Mary and Cecilia Balserzak, with their two sons, playing football for Loyola's lost varsity team that year. After my grad, father graduated from Loyola with honors. He had an important decision to make, whether to accept an academic scholarship at Johns Hopkins or an athletic scholarship to the University of Detroit. His deep love of football and strong commitment to his Catholic faith made the decision an easy one for him and he went on to attend the University of Detroit in the fall of 1951, where he continued to play football. After graduating first in his class in engineering, he pursued a postgraduate education at Northwestern University, where he earned a PhD in mechanical engineering. He met my mother, got married, and started a family in the Chicago land area. His four years at Loyola had set the foundation for a truly satisfying and valuable life. The fundamental Catholic values that were ingrained in him at Loyola served him well during his life and continue to do so to this day. I'm genuinely sorry my father could not be here in person to accept this award. He is now 82 years old and is suffering from a number of health in, uh, issues and unfortunately could not make the trip from Chicago to be here tonight. In a different time, I'm certain that he would have loved to have been here to accept this honor in person and to thank all of you present who made this night possible. But I also know that even though he could not be here tonight, he's very grateful to be elected to the Loyal Lakefield Athletic Hall of Fame and is proud of his accomplishments on the football field and classroom during his high school years and what those early accomplishments led him to achieve later in life. My father's signature words of this life to his children and his grandchildren are make us proud. Tonight we are all very proud of him. On behalf of my father, my three sisters, Married seven grandchildren, I want to thank you all for this special honor, and may God bless you all. Thank you.